for those of you who are fans of using ITV, or you'd like to use ITV uh, for whatever reason you use it for, recording, gaming, actually watching live TV like I do, or I don't know, whatever. And you updated the latest 3.56, okay? And if you're like me, you don't watch TV an awful lot. And the problem is the serial numbers don't work. What do you do, right? Every time, well, you probably pull in the serial number, uh, yeah, it all works, and then you watch something, you close it, you open it back up, and this is, it's been invalidated. Well, the reason it's doing that is because ITV is actually connecting to the internet without you knowing, and it's uh, checking, or should I say validating, the serial number which you put in. And if it comes back, it's invalid. Well, there you go. And there's a way around this. It's not too late if you've already done it and, it and you can't get past it. There's a way you got to do it. You got to close ITV altogether, okay? Get rid of it. And then what we want to do, we want to go to Finder. And then, then what we want to do is press Command Shift G or go to Go and then um, uh, go to Folder, yeah? And this is what you want to type in, forward slash etc, no problem, straight in, okay? And then you see a file which is called hosts. Now hosts is a file which we can use to block outgoing and incoming connections from applications within the operating system. And as long as we know the addresses they are going to, the, the, the application is pointing to, we can block them in this file. And the way we do that, we open with TextMate or you know text edit or whatever, and we add these three lines here. Okay, now I, I'm not entirely sure which one it actually blocks the serial number, but we put them all in just in case. I'll put these in the description for you all, so you can use them. And yeah, put them in there. Press Command S to save. It will ask you for your password, and click OK, and it's in there. Okay. Get rid of that, and then we want to open terminal, okay? And then we want to run these commands. I'll put these in description too. Now this just clears like the sort of cache which ITV holds, and it will forget that you've ever put in a serial number. The only problem is you'll have to retune the channels, and all these settings will be gone. However, your program guide will still be there, so don't worry about that. Uh, what we want to do, we want to enter that one first and then that one, okay? Then when you open ITV next, it will come up with your serial number is invalidated. Now there's a serial number I'll put in the description also, which you can use to uh, unblock ITV, and it should work forevermore. Uh, obviously you won't be able to get any updates anymore if you click check for updates. You'll get an error like that because it can't connect to the server. And if that comes up, you know you've done it right. So, yeah, there you go. So hopefully you'll be able to do it. If you've got any problems, let me know. And if anything changes, I shall try and change the video as soon as I find out. Okay, thank you very much.